A family is beginning their healing journey after a judge sentenced four men convicted of plotting to kill an innocent woman to life in prison. 59-year-old Lillian Bond was a beloved member of the Norfolk community. She was murdered in what a federal judge called cold blood back in 2016. Sarah Hammond is in studio now with the details. Sarah. Well, federal prosecutors say Lillian Bond was in the wrong place at the wrong time. She worked at the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters for more than 20 years. Bond's friends and family called her a well-known member of the community. Lillian Bond's loved ones said she was always the one to throw family get-togethers and called her the light in every room. Love for people, her love for life. A federal judge found 32-year-old Nelson Evans guilty of killing Bond in broad daylight in 2016 as she took her trash out. But Evans did not work alone. The leader said the next person out of that residence needs to get killed, needs to get shot. According to court records and evidence presented at trial last year, Jaquate Simpson and Landis Jackson led a long-running drug enterprise out of North Carolina. Bond's nephew, a Norfolk-based dealer for the men, failed to pay them over $81,000 for a cocaine delivery. Simpson and Jackson hired Caleb Shipman to kill the next person to leave the dealer's home. He recruited Evans, who ultimately fired the shot. The conscience was shocked in 2016. You know, murder for hire will probably put you away for life. And it did. A federal judge sentenced all four men to life in prison. During Precious Hill's emotional testimony ahead of Friday's sentencing, she told the men they destroyed her family. Hill said, quote, inmate looks good on you. And quote, if you had to sentence based on love, no sentence would be high enough. The last seven and a half years have been horrible nightmares, anxiety. We're doing a life without our matriarch of our family. Senior U.S. District Judge John Gibney called the people involved, quote, ruthless from beginning to end, top to bottom. Even as they were sentenced, all four men maintained their innocence, but say they are praying for the Bond family. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Sarah. Bond left behind one daughter, a grandson, eight siblings, and multiple nieces and nephews.